Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. And today, we're going to learn how to do more advanced GUIs. Now, as you can see, I've already gotten the code written, because, well, I'm lazy. And I just want to take you down step by step on how it works. First things first, I'm using TypeScript. Uh, so that's how I can do this right here, which you cannot do if you're in JavaScript. Make sure to run the watch task. That was unintentional. Now, okay, so const server GUI equals player into this. This is just called an arrow function. I prefer using arrow functions over normal functions, but that's just me. It's the exact same as just doing function server GUI player, which is a type player. They're the exact same for the most part. I just like arrow functions more. So, const GUI is a, is a new model form data. If you remember to the third episode, we used action form data. Action form data just does title, body, and buttons. Model form data, however, does titles, drop downs, sliders, text fields, toggles, and icons. We're not doing icons in this video, or probably any video, because we don't have a resource pack. Um, player, world, all the basic stuff. So, GUI the title is just the title of the GUI. Nothing special. I'll open Minecraft in the meantime. Anyways, the drop down is a drop down. You click on the drop down and then all the options, which is the second parameter, show up. They're just an array from every player in the world and then every player into their name. Just an array of all the player names in the world. Slider, choose a number, no it's a slider, kinda drag it across. The first this zero is the minimum, the ten is the maximum, and then the two is the value step. You'll see what the value step is later. Text field is just a text field. You know, you write something. I just by the way, all of these first things are the labels. Choose a player, lay the labels when we choose a player. Choose numbers, the label, write something by yourself, that's a label. And yeah. Back text field is the label. And then this is the default, not the default text, but the text that's inside of the text box if nothing's there. You'll know what I mean later. And the toggle is just an off and on thing, and the label here is I don't know. So to a player, you just do GOI.show to um, type player, which is this, dot then take the result into a code box here if the result dot is cancelled then just return nothing here happens alright this next line right here this is using a this is using destructuring which is a very useful JavaScript and TypeScript feature where form values as you can see is an array and so you can destructure the array which is an array here this is right here of the drop down slider text field and toggle remember it is in order and the names don't really matter you can name this to whatever you want and it's still going to be drop down here do note what every single one of these returns the drop down returns a number it's the index of whatever you chose here so if i chose the very first player then it's going to return zero since that's the index the slider will also return a number and it's a number that you, well, chose. The text field will return a string, which is whatever you wrote inside of it. And the, the toggle will return a boolean, since it's just an on and off switch. Now to open this GUI, you just use a before item use event. One thing we're going to do before getting into the code, we're just going to do if data.source.id is not equal to minecraft player and it just return so all the code after this only happens if it's a player by cl clicking it so if data dot item dot id 
is equal to Minecraft recovery underscore compass in the code here. Recovery compass is new in the 1.19 update. It just looks like a better version of the compass, honestly. And then server GUI. Remember it's a function. It's a player which immediate out source. You're gonna get you're gonna you should get an error here. Should get an error here. I don't know why it's not showing the error. But it is erroring. You have to do ask player here since the out source is of type entity and you specify player. If you don't see a error there then I don't know, something's wrong with your PSC. And so yeah, if I right click with a recovery compass, it should show me this GUI that's been made. Mm, yeah. that, that's 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 all there is to it. Let me go ahead and turn Minecraft back up. And I think it's this one, the tight strip pack. Also, I got rid of the mana display just because it's kind of annoying. See this recover compass? I was testing before this video. I've already I just named it to server menu. You can name it to whatever you want. Though I do recommend doing here like and the item dot name tag is equal to it's just equal to something. Just so that way you can't get a random recover compass and it works. So power to right click with this thing. All of this, all of this shows up. It looks like a mess. Do stuff. Remember, GUI dot title. Choose a player. Only players myself, since I'm you know only player. Will be able to drop down. Click on it. Shows all the options. Next is a slider, which you just kind of scroll. The, the minimum is zero and the max is ten. The value step is two, so it goes from zero, two, four, six, eight, ten. You know, just a multiple of two. Write something by yourself. I'm just say I I am good at TypeScript. Now I'll know is just the toggle that we wrote that we have here. Doesn't really matter. And submit. You want to click submit here. You don't want to click the X or click escape. Just click submit. Look at the warning. Drop down to zero. Side or ten. Text field. I'm good at TypeScript. To toggle true. Remember. Drop down is the index since that there's only one person and the index is going to be zero. The slider is the number that was chosen, which was ten. Text field, whatever you wrote, which was I'm good at TypeScript, and the toggle was true because I chose tr true. And yeah, that's um that's how you make a advanced GUI in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See ya.